Hello everyone and welcome to Popcorning Piggy. Today's video took a slight change because as you will see this already looks different to last week's video in the sense that I added on this extra cage and there were meant to be piggies in this cage um, this week. However, it is the reality of being a foster mom that sometimes fosters fall through. And this can happen for many reasons and I'll go into kind of depth the whole situation in this video just in case you're intrigued as to the fostering kind of situation, what I do in terms of volunteering and fostering, um, as well as just generally talking you through what happened and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this down in case you're interested in seeing what I'm going to do um, in the meantime because the great news about how I've set up this cage now is that I can remove this kind of extra bit um, and then as and when fosters come over again um, I will just add it back on so I'll show you that at the end of the video too so make sure you stay tuned for that I've got two naughty pigs down here so if you hear funny noise it's Digger Bartering. Anyway, let's talk about the situation. So the wonderful rescue that I volunteer at, it's called Worcestershire Rabbit Rescue and Friends. They do predominantly rabbits, but they also have quite a number of guinea pigs, gerbils, hamsters throughout the year, and it can be a number of other animals as well. They also offer boarding facilities now, so if you are around the Worcestershire and Gloucestershire area, check them out if you need a boarding facility for your guinea pigs too. The rescue, Worcestershire Rabbit Rescue and Friends, had been asked to help out another rescue. Basically, this other rescue was um, a relatively small rescue from what I understand, although they had specialised in small animals. So they had everything from guinea pigs, including skinny pigs, um, hamsters, gerbils, everything. And so unfortunately the person running that rescue had had some terminal illness um, kind of news, I guess is what you would call it, um, and was reassessing what was going to happen with the rescue. And so a number of rescues, including Worcestershire Rabbit Rescue and Friends said, no problem, we will help you out. Now, the wonderful Jay over at Worcestershire Rabbit Rescue and Friends has space for guinea pigs and rabbits and all manner of things sometimes. So this was going to be a large intake of piggies. I think it was going to be possibly even 10 guinea pigs that she was going to have to take in. Um, and obviously somewhat, um, some of them were in pairs, some of them were in trios and some of them were kind of, we don't know to be honest the whole situation or I certainly don't as a foster mum and volunteer, um, but it sounded like a lot of piggies. So Jay reached out to me because there was definitely at one point going to be five skinny pigs. <sighs> five skinny pigs. So she reached out because obviously skinny pigs have to live indoors, they cannot live outdoors. They have far too sensitive skin, they have no hair on the body, so they need to be kept indoors. And um, they also have special care requirements and things. Um, and so, that's Digger, chewing the bars. Um, and so she reached out to say, did I have space? Now, yes, I did have space, but I did have to do a bit of jiggling. So the thought was that um, Miko and Rolo, who are in this top cage, which is a two by five, were actually gonna go in this two by four and then the five skinny pigs, if I could bond them together, because they were all girls, um, but there was a pair and a trio, they were gonna go in the two, five by two, or at least if I had to split it, it was large enough for them to have lots of space, at least for a short period of time. Anyway, before we even got to kind of, this all, this all happened in the space of about a week. It was a chaos week. Um, I spent a lot of the week obviously getting everything ready um, and certainly by day two of you know Jay saying yes we'll take the guinea pigs asked me to help and um, already we were down to two skinny pigs and um, because three of the skinny pigs I think had been adopted out which is fantastic news for them absolutely great and obviously it meant <laughs> look at Rolo being inquisitive um, and also it meant that the two two skinny pigs left could either have the two by four or the two by five. I hadn't quite decided yet. And um, obviously these guys are in the two by five. So I was probably gonna put them in the two by four. So I got everything ready and then literally I was meant to pick them or some sort of pigs up. Cause again, it, there was debate as to whether those skinny pigs then had been adopted. Um, and I was gonna potentially have two boys um, or just any pigs to be honest, um, just to help Jay out because of space and things. And then, yeah, I was meant to pick them up Friday, and then Thursday, 
Jay had received another message from the lady from this rescue who has changed her mind completely now none of the other rescues are needed to help it she's either continuing the rescue or she's the rescue has moved to a friend I don't know the whole story um but we are here in a sense of I have a spare cage and it's no longer no longer needed which obviously is great hopefully either the animals are still being rescued in the rescue that they're in and um, it doesn't mean that they have to be moved and stressed out and things so that that's I'll take that as a win um, and it also means I am set up now whenever Jay needs me at the rescue to take fosters because I tend to have the boys as they get neutered so that they have indoor recuperation um, and I'm also slightly a boy specialist because I have the four boys um, so yeah so that's there so that's what happened that's the realities of being a foster mom sometimes you have to prepare yourself very quickly to help out you have to change things around um and then sometimes they fall out um in terms of the plans so yeah that's the realities of being a foster mom really and helping and volunteering at rescues people change their mind things happen and you just gotta roll with it that is just the reality of it so like I say, hopefully it's all worked out best for the piggies. That's, to be honest, the only thing really that I care about is the fact that the piggies are well looked after wherever they may be and have a fantastic life. Um, but yeah, I am ready now, whenever, to reattach this and take more piggies. But it was a chaotic week. So we went from potentially having five guinea pigs to then having two to then having none. Anyway, so I'm now going to... Um, kind of do a bit of a time lapse in case you're interested to, of me taking I'm going to take out the two by two that's basically sticking out of this cage and um, put it in my kind of storage section um, and then just reattach it as and when I need which is great because now it's just a simple reattach it if it's ever needed <sighs> so I'll show you that um but yeah So the, so the realities with this Corex was I just used lots of bits of leftover Corex because I didn't have a big sheet. So you can see I just sellotaped lots and lots together, hence the reason it's not looking the best, but it will do. It. that's how easy it was to remove that two by two section the hardest bit was trying to fit it through the door to store it so I am gonna have to take a few of the grids off because it will not fit, fit through the door and um, but apart from that that's just a few cable ties and connectors so that is easily fixed for when I need it again so I'm gonna add the two storage sections there I do need to sort out the lights though I need to secure those a little bit better than I already have but we are back to two cages and I just have that section to add back on as and when I need the third cage. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to hear anything more about what it's like to be a volunteer for a rescue or a foster mom. Um, or even if you want to see more of what the cages are now. Um, give me a like and give me a comment and I'll certainly uh, talk more about those things or show you more of those things subscribe i do a video every tuesday i'm thinking about two uploads a week let me know if that would be of interest too um i certainly have a lot of things i want to share with you so maybe i will have to do two videos a week um but yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next tuesday for another video bye